Hey guys, what's up? So today we're doing the Pixar Movies Bracket. So we did one of these brackets a little while ago with Queen albums, and I thought today we'd do one with the movies of Pixar. Now it's not every single Pixar movie, of course, there's only 16 spaces in the bracket, so there are some missing, including some recent ones like Coco and The Incredibles 2, which probably would have been on there. But if you want to give this bracket a go and your favourite Pixar films aren't on there, you can always just switch them out with other ones, it's that easy. So to start off, we're going in the top left hand corner with Toy Story vs A Bug's Life. Now Toy Story is just a complete classic and Bug's Life is not a bad film either, I think I like it more than some other people might, but I think Toy Story is easily the better of the two, so an easy win for Toy Story there. Next up is Ratatouille vs Monsters Inc. Again, Monsters Inc is one that I think I like better than most people, but Ratatouille is probably the stronger of these two films, it's just got a really good story behind it and um, is definitely one of their visually impressive looking films. I mean, they're all visually impressive, but this is one of their really nice looking films. So Ratatouille probably over Monsters Inc for me. Next one down, Finding Nemo versus Cars. I think this is another pretty easy one. Finding Nemo is again one of the classics. And Cars, while I like it more than other people seem to, and the first one is one of the stronger of the three, it's probably nowhere near the standard of Finding Nemo, so that's a pretty easy one there. The last one on the left side is Inside Out versus Toy Story 2. This is a difficult one for me because Inside Out I thought was a great film, some great ideas and cool story behind it but Toy Story 2 I have a soft spot for the Toy Story franchise I grew up on those films and there's a ton of nostalgia in watching those time and time again but in terms of which one's the better film probably Inside Out out of the two for me here into the second round of the left side and we've got Toy Story going up against Ratatouille both strong films again though I think Toy Story probably the stronger of the two it's the classic and you've always got to keep coming back to it out of which is the stronger of the two films for me personally it probably has to be Toy Story it's the one I like the most but obviously Ratatouille is a strong film. I wouldn't be surprised if some people picked Ratatouille over Toy Story here, maybe. But for me personally, I've got to go with Toy Story here. Finding Nemo versus Inside Out. Two strong films, but I think Finding Nemo is definitely the one I prefer out of the two there. A lot of this comes down to, I think, nostalgia as well, because a lot of these films you grew up on, and then some of the more recent ones you didn't. That doesn't make them any worse at films, but you don't have that same kind of feeling with them. So Finding Nemo is definitely one of the strongest of the Pixar films, in my opinion, and it beats out Inside Out in this one. Third round of the left side, and we have Toy Story going up against Finding Nemo. This is a tough one. Two of the strong Pixar films, two of the ones that I really like. It's a really tough call because Finding Nemo is a great film, but for me, it probably has to be Toy Story. You know, as I said, I've got a soft spot for the Toy Story films. I grew up with those characters and Finding Nemo was a little bit later on down the track. So it's a tough call, but probably for me, Toy Story just beats out Finding Nemo. Going onto the right side of the bracket now, in the top right hand corner, we've got The Incredibles going up against Cars 3. This is a pretty easy choice for most people, I think myself included. The Incredibles is easily the better film. I actually didn't mind Cars 3, I thought particularly after the disaster that was Cars 2. I think Cars 3 was actually a step back in the right direction, I actually quite liked it, but it's nowhere near the level of The Incredibles, so an easy win there. Next one is Up versus Cars 2, well, I just had a go at Cars 2, so it's not too much of a challenge here. Up. Definitely one of the better of the Pixar films, one of the stronger contenders, and Cars 2, quite possibly the worst of the Pixar films, maybe. Definitely not one that went down very well with fans, so for me, it's pretty easy up over Cars 2. Next up, we've got Finding Dory versus Wally. Again, Wally, another strong contender. Finding Dory, it's an interesting one. I don't think people necessarily loved it, I don't think people necessarily hated it, but it's kind of in between. For me, I kind of feel the same way. Finding Dory isn't as strong as Finding Nemo, but it's definitely not a bad film necessarily, it's not pretty weak. I'd probably put Cars 3 and Finding Dory in that same kind of area where it wasn't, you know, a disappointment or a bad film. I enjoyed it. I watch it again sometimes, but it's not up there on the level of the classics of Pixar. So out of these two, probably Wally. -E. Down the bottom on the right side, we've got Monsters University versus Toy Story 3. Definitely Monsters University is a film that people don't seem to like very much from what I've heard. People seem to have pretty negative opinions about it. They don't hate it like Cars 2, but I don't think a lot of people liked it as much as they thought they might. Obviously Toy Story 3, one of the classics of Pixar, one of the more modern classics ish kind of. Probably not too much of a contest here. Toy Story 3 easily beats out Monsters University. Into the second round for the right side and we've got The Incredibles versus Up. For me, The Incredibles is the stronger of the two. Up is a film with an interesting story and a lot of heart in that story, a lot of you know feelings going through in that storyline. For me, The Incredibles, I just prefer it more. Again, there's that little bit of nostalgia that I was probably a bit younger when The Incredibles came out compared to when Up came out, so that probably affects it a little bit, but I'd probably choose The Incredibles over Up. 
Next up, Wally vs. Toy Story 3. Wally is definitely a fan favourite. A lot of people like that film, and another film with a ton of heart. Both of these films, really. I mean, there's rarely a Pixar film without heart in it. Wally is definitely one of those ones where, you know, a lot of people seem to really like the characters. It's actually quite an impressive film, considering how limited there is in terms of the dialogue, particularly for the main characters, and how they're still able to convey those emotions and those feelings that you'd get from a Pixar film with the characters barely speaking to each other. But for me, Toy Story 3 again, with those characters that you love and just the great film and the storyline behind it. There's a ton of emotion in that film as well, so for me, Toy Story 3 just beats out Wally. Into the third round for the right side, and we've got The Incredibles going up against Toy Story 3. This is a pretty difficult choice for me, two of my favourite Pixar films. Really like both of them, both strong contenders. For me, it probably has to be Toy Story 3, I think. It's definitely one of the best Pixar films, as is The Incredibles, but just getting over the top. And I know a lot of people may choose The Incredibles over Toy Story 3. Again, those characters those are the ones I grew up with and for me that's a really touching story so just in a close one but Toy Story 3 over The Incredibles. So that brings us to our top two, our championship fight if you will, Toy Story going up against Toy Story 3. Again two films that I really love, Toy Story 1 was one I grew up with and loved as a kid whereas Toy Story 3 I was a fair bit older when I saw it because obviously it came out a lot later but you obviously still had that connection to the characters and with such a strong storyline you know with what goes on with Andy. I think the case with Toy Story 3 is you can relate to it quite a bit and I'm sure it's the same with many people who watched the Toy Story films back in the day as a kid. You watch those first two films when you're young growing up you're around about the same age as Andy at least I was and then comes Toy Story 3 and while you know I was still at that time a fair way off where Andy was you know going to college and stuff like that you know you could still relate to that feeling of being older having to grow up and having to give away those things that you loved when you were a kid. It's a pretty relatable story as well as being you know touching and heartfelt and all those kind of things so for me out of Toy Story, Toy Story 3, two films I love from Pixar, my two favourites clearly, I'm probably going to go with Toy Story 3. I think it's just a slightly better film I think. Toy Story 1 probably has a lot of nostalgia value for me and so I probably maybe I put it better than what it is but I think Toy Story 3 is a better film, the better story and just a real touching story as well so for me Toy Story 3 beats out Toy Story 1 and it is my favourite of these Pixar films. So guys, if you want to give this Pixar bracket a go, feel free. You'll find it on our Instagram. The link should be down in the description. Give it a go and let us know in the comments what results you get, which film turns out to be your favourite, all those kind of things. Also, let us know what you thought of the results I got. What do you think? Toy Story 3, the best out of all the films? What results did you get when you gave it a go? Go ahead, give it a go, let us know, and we'll see you in the next video.